So there's something else I want to talk about. I've noticed this trend um, of just body shaming that it's so like out of hand. Um, and I didn't realize just how out of hand it was until I start seeing like skinny girls getting body shamed. And I'm like, they're skinny. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just like, everybody's getting it you know what I mean and I'm talking about for females and I just think it's sad that as women we already have like so much pressure on us on, for so many different things you know what I mean like you know we already don't get paid it's the same as men you know um it's always this thing where and I was just talking to, to one of my co-workers about this where you know, when it comes to certain jobs, a lot of times the guy can be less qualified, but because they need males or they need men in these positions, especially in education, they will, you know, hire them and they don't know what they're doing, you know, over a woman. And so, um, so we're already fighting like that fight anyway. So that's just one thing. And then the other thing is just that I've noticed like as females, we have so, we put so much pressure on ourselves to look a certain way, to be a certain way, to act a certain way. And it's not necessarily men putting that, you know, that pressure on us as it is other women, you know? And, and it's just really, it's toxic and unhealthy. And I just started noticing like just, so many women who are so insecure with how they look. I mean, I, I'm in there too. Cause it's just like, you know, I'm holding like this pillow over my stomach, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, you have children and everything. And you're not the same way you used to be, um, when you're in your twenties and stuff. And it's harder to lose weight. And especially when you're working all the time, it's like, you can't be in the gym and, you don't have like special dietitians and cooks and stuff like that. Like these celebrities or you don't have money to have plastic surgery and you know, all that kind of stuff. And, but society is telling you, you should look like this after you have a baby. You should like this at 40. You should like this at 50. And I think it's just unhealthy. And I think social media is really um, doing a number on people's mental health. And I, and I just starting to realize like, when I go out and, you know, and I see like, you know, not even go out, but like be in a situation and setting with other women, when you're taking pictures and you immediately, I remember when digital cameras came out and you immediately delete them because you're like, well, I look big in that picture. Like yesterday, um, I, I don't like taking pictures for people at, anymore. Like I never really cared for it anyway, but especially for females because we always have this thing where it's like you take a million pictures to get that one good picture because somebody doesn't feel comfortable. And I'm, I put myself in that same scenario. So even yesterday when, um, you know, this girl and her friends, they, they have, they're starting like this, um, catering and party planning, you know, type of crew. Um, they look so cute. And I took the picture and, um, and one of the girls, I could tell, like, for me, when I look at her, I think that she's beautiful. I think to me, she has a perfect body, but she's so self-conscious about herself. And I'm like, what is happening? You know what I'm saying? And she's like curvy in all the right places. And I'm like, what is going on? Well, she didn't like her arms. You know what I mean? She was turned this way and she didn't like how her arms looked. So she had to put on a jacket. And I kept, because... She kept coming over to look at the camera and I'm like, what is happening? Cause like at some point I'm like getting offended. I'm like, what is happening? You know, the picture looks fine, but it was her being self-conscious about herself, you know? And she was like, well, everybody else looked fine, but she didn't feel fine. And I'm looking at her like, you look good. I mean, my other friend, same thing, body, yaddy, yaddy. And she's like, well, you have a cute shape. I'm like, what are you talking about? So it's like, we never see ourselves. You know what I mean? We don't see what other people see. We have an image in our mind of how we should be and how we should look. 
And then, but we don't look through the lens of someone else and then they're looking at you like, you look fine. You know what I'm saying? You're perfect the way you are, but in our mind, we're not, you know? And it's just like, we really got to get to a place where we are comfortable in our own skin. We are in a, in a situation where it's like, you got to love yourself. You got to love yourself because it's like, when you let society tell you how you should look, when you let um, just some extra pounds and rolls make you feel less than and make you depressed, it's just shameful. And it is sad because there's so many other things that we should be worrying about than how we look. And it's just, and I just watched, like, I watched the same people I thought, like, they just look gorgeous but they're just like taking these pictures. You know how we do, you know what I mean? And just like to get the right picture to post because it makes you feel better, you know, when people tell you, you look great, girl, yeah, you know? And it's just like, you got, and we know somebody's going to Mexico to get like body, alteration, body alterations and stuff in Mexico. And I'm like, nothing against that, but it's just like, you don't speak the language. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, It's just sad. It's sad. And, um, and I just, I've learned, like, I'm learning to, to start liking what I see. Cause even I have a friend, she's lost over a hundred something pounds. She looks great, but she can't get over the extra skin in her stomach and her stomach doesn't look like super, you know, flat board and she's killing herself working out to get that. And I'm like, you look so good, you know, and, but you can't tell her that because in her mind, she only sees, you know, she sees that that's how she's focused on the flab. And it's just like, but you're an eight, you know what I'm saying? I would kill to go back into eight, you know? So I don't know. Like, I just wanted to get back on here because I was just like looking on social media and I started to see like, just, um, just how ugly people can be to others. And it's really when people aren't, when they aren't um, okay with themselves, they want to lash out on other people and be ugly to other people. Um, I mean, I had somebody lash out on me on social media and it had nothing to do with them. I was just commenting on something about how this girl wanted to, uh, she thought that she should be with some guy that had six figures, but yet she was living at home. And so I agree with what the man was saying. And I wasn't talking about her size. I was talking about the fact that she was delusional to think that a man who's making six figures would be okay with a girl who's a student living at home with her parents. So that's what I was agreeing with. And the, I don't know who this person was, but she just thought she was going to call me out. And how can I agree with him, you know, about her being fat or something like that when you know, how would I rate myself? I'm, I'm a one or two in my, in my chunky self. And I was like, chunky. <laughs> like, okay. But any a given day, like I probably would have been like hurt or upset. I'm like, girl, bye. Cause I was like, you're doing to me the same thing you're saying I'm doing to this other girl. So like, what about you that ain't right? I was like, I know I look good. So get over yourself. I have to rate myself. Like, girl, I don't even know you. But it's just like, but that's the kind of energy that people are putting out into the world, into the atmosphere. And it's like, I really, really need to stop it and stop using more body positivity, you know, um, stop with the body shaming, regardless if you're big, small, whatever. It's just like, I think we should really start looking at people's personalities, you know, and how do you treat people? How do you, um, are you a good person? Like if you're... If we're going to look at something and judge something, let's judge people's character and not their looks. Because that's really what matters at the end of the day. So, I don't know. Like, and I, it's just like an eye-opening thing for me. Because, like, when I look at other women, I'm like, I think they're ideally gorgeous. But then they don't see themselves that way. You know what I mean? And then, like, they compliment me. And I'm like, I don't see myself that way. It's like, it's really sad. Because I remember I have a friend. He's like, and this uh, guys don't even see the stuff y'all see. You know, you talk about cellulite and all that kind of stuff. They're like, you don't even notice that. And like, and he's like, and the guys that do, they're like, he said, that's not the type of guy you want anyway. They're superficial, you know? Like, why? 
something's wrong with them if that's what they're looking at, you know? And most of the time, those guys aren't even cute anyway. But that's the, you know, kind of stuff that whole is when people aren't secure in themselves that they feel like they got to take it out on others, you know? And, um, and then you just, we just got to get into in a point where, um, we just got to be happy in our skin and be happy because you only got one life to live. And if you're like so scared of eating like cake because you're afraid, it's like, you're going to miss that. Like you have days where you're going to wish you just ate that cake, you know what I'm saying? And been happy, you know, instead of miserable. And so, so yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm thinking in. That's where my mind is and just like learn to take care of ourselves and start um working on we can work on our bodies that's not what i'm saying but we need to be really working up in here like working on this and so mental health still it's a deal it's a big deal because it affects everything else about you so having said that um i will leave it there <laughs>